Speaking of soldiers, we have an update tonight on two who lost their limbs in the war. They're now in Seattle. You may remember we introduced you to them last week. Today, they got help from a local medical clinic to regain some mobility. The men were fitted for prosthetics for an injured arm and leg. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling joins us now in the newsroom with the latest details on their journey and how doctors in Seattle are helping them. Jennifer. Good evening. The Euchre Health Foundation has helped to arrange this medical care for the soldiers. Today, clinicians made casts for the prosthetics, which could start arriving as early as this weekend. So go ahead and stand up for us, okay? To make sure that it's shaped and loaded just right so it stabilizes the bone. At Cornerstone Prosthetics and Orthotics, Petro Peter Shemigan is getting a cast for a prosthetic leg with the help of Clinical Operations Director Mike Smith. I had a fractured vein and not uh, feeling now. Okay, so you, you did have some, but no more? No more. Peter was the only one out of five wounded soldiers who survived an attack last August. Once it sets, we can take off the cast. For how short Peter's limb is, um, it's just best to do a traditional hand cast. Vladislav Zinkage is also being cast for an arm. There we go. There's your arm. Vlad spoke through a translator saying he was injured by artillery. So he didn't hear it uh, and he lost consciousness as soon as it happened. And everyone was actually thinking that he was dead because of how many injuries he got. He showed us the head injury he received. The helmet saved Vlad's life. Despite his leg being injured, the doctors were able to put it together, but they couldn't do anything with the arm, unfortunately. Vlad tries to remain positive despite the circumstances. He jokes uh, that when he was already in a hospital, he was telling the nurse, where's my arm? Give me my arm back. Euchre Health Foundation founder Alex Dudko says he started the pilot program to help the wounded from Ukraine because the need is so great. Because we have almost 17,000 people who need support, who need prosthetics. Smith explained why he decided to also join the cause. His story really spoke to me personally because um, I'm a former Navy corpsman who um, helped um, you know, Marines uh, during the conflicts of Iraq. Meantime, Vlad says he would like to return to the armed forces in Ukraine. His wife and his mom, they're uh, serving. So he has multiple reasons to come back to Ukraine. Smith says it's possible with the right prosthetic. These are very durable. I think it'll give him the best chance. When you're doing this, you can just pop rotate any direction. Smith hopes Peter will be walking by next Wednesday. With enough de determination, anybody can accomplish almost anything. Smith says Vlad's prosthetic training will take more time. Vlad feels fortunate he's made it this far. He saw how many soldiers were there who lost like all their limbs or who were in much worse condition. So he thinks that he actually got lucky, that he's alive, that he can stand and walk and it's just warm, one arm. And the foundation will be raising money for the prosthetics program and for a program that helps Ukrainian children orphaned during the war. The foundation's next fundraiser is March 30th at the Hyatt in Renton. Back to you in the studio.